Hello everyone, Dr. John Bartim is here today with a topic that could literally save your life or the life of a loved one if you plant this in your brain today and save it for the dreadful day that you may ever face this situation. What I want to talk about today is traumatic brain injury, coma, stroke, or concussions. But the major focus is on the traumatic brain injury side. Now, uh, research shows that in traumatic brain injury like coma, the brain stops functioning, uh, the brain activity lessens to a minimum or sometimes totally is out of, out of service, and you are in dire straits. And mainstream medicine doesn't have a lot of answers for coma until now. And the awesome thing is that these answers for coma, stroke, traumatic brain injury, and concussions is a natural remedy that we all have access to. Now, how many of you remember the mine explosion in West Virginia in 2008? There were 13 miners in a, a mine in West Virginia in 2008 trapped when the mine exploded. They were trapped for 48 hours in that mine. And the Journal of the American, the American Journal of Emergency Medicine documents the case of the lone survivor of those 13. 12 of them died but one of them survived. And what happened is when the emergency responders found him in the mine, he was in a coma due to carbon monoxide poisoning, and his brain activity was dead, he had multiple organ damage, and the only thing that was still working was his heart. Since he had heart activity, they decided to um, keep him alive. So what happened is they got him to the hospital and uh, stabilized him, and he was in a coma for two weeks. And what happened is, the presiding neurosurgeon over his case remembered that he had seen in the literature that sometimes um, he had seen cases where traumatic brain injury what they did was they inserted 15 grams of omega-3 fish oil directly into the patient's feeding tube and immediately that day brain activity picked up so this surgeon being sharp as he was he injected 15 grams of omega-3 fish oil into the lone survivor of the mine's uh, feeding tube, went directly into his gut, and they measured his brain activity, and that day his brain showed signs of coming back to life. Long story short, that survivor of the mine that they said was going to be, if he survived, would be in a vegetative state for the rest of his life, that mine survivor actually is back to a normal life, is married, and has children all because of the fish oil. And why did that work? Because our brains are made of fat and there's a fatty acid ratio that are required for a healthy brain. Providing him with that fish oil after traumatic brain injury, which induces inflammation in the brain, the fish oil has an anti-inflammatory impact, the best known natural anti-inflammatory on the planet, in fact. Besides the anti-inflammatory impact of the fish oil, it also helps with the synapses or the communication between the neurons in the brain. So it brought his brain back to life, the brain runs the body, so the brain could then heal his body and restore him to normal health and function. So that is awesome. Another case in the literature was um, in the, Amer the Journal of American Surgeons in 2008 and there was a case of a 17-year-old boy who was in a major car accident, had traumatic brain injury and had to be removed from the car actually uh, by the jaws of life and he was in a coma. And so they did the same thing with him. Once they had him stabilized and on life support and, and um, you know stable in the hospital, they injected the 15 grams of omega-3 fish oil into his feeding tube. His brain activity picked up immediately that day and three weeks later he walked across the stage to receive his diploma with his high school friends. So this is big time stuff. And the last study I want to share is from the uh, Physicians of Sports Medicine which looks at post-concussion syndrome which uh, occurs in cognitive decline, memory problems, um, motor skill issues after concussions. And so the lead authors on this paper are Russell Blaylock, who is a neurosurgeon from Alabama who is as sharp as they get, and Joe Maroon, who is the neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And what they found was the best thing to do after a concussion is to get the patient omega-3 fish oils as soon as possible. So it's 15 grams in the traumatic cases post-concussion 
you can start with six and have them take six grams a day for two weeks and then ramp it down to three grams a day from then on. So this is very important information. I want you to log this in your brain because hopefully you are never faced with a, a loved one that is in a, concu in a coma, has a concussion, or has a stroke or traumatic brain injury. But just in case you do, this is a little tidbit to pull out of there in that instance and say, listen, we can save his life if we get 15 grams of omega-3 fish oils in his or her feeding tube right now. And you may get pushback on the, by the hospital on this because hospitals aren't all on board or even in the know on this stuff. So underneath this video in the notes section on YouTube, I will post the, um, the references to the journals for the studies I just cited so that you could pull those up on pubmed.gov print out the abstracts and give those to the surgeons and say, listen, we're saving my loved one's life right now. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I want you to live as long and as healthy as possible. So program this in your mind and pull it out just in case you ever need it. Have a great day.